pretty good Thursday to you, everybody. Yeah, I was talking with some people this week that were dealing with situations in which they had a lot of fear because of that situation. And we kind of just discussed the importance of understanding uh, the depth of God's love. In fact, John wrote in uh, one of the epistles that uh, perfect love casts out all fear. Is talking about the perfect love of God. It says it casts out all fear. I thought about that and how does that work? How does God's love eliminate fear in our life? And as I thought more and more about it, it just kind of dawned on me that's because uh, if we really truly honestly uh, live within the truth of God loves us, that means God as the perfect Father in heaven is watching over us in every aspect of our lives. And as we trust Him each day, we can live with the certainty that those things that happen to us, those things that we go through, the challenges we face, the victories we get to encounter and be blessed with, uh, God uh, is making sure behind the scenes that uh, He is fulfilling His promise to care for us and protect us and provide for us. And so I just need to learn to trust Him in that. And fear really is uh, the opposite of trust. Uh, we're afraid because we don't trust what's going on or we don't trust someone or we don't trust a situation and where it can go. But with God, we can trust Him in all things. So our fear can be taken away by simply reminding ourselves that we can trust God no matter what. Now don't mistake that for thinking that God's going to make everything rosy because He said in this world you will have trials. Uh, there's going to be struggles in this world, and some of them are going to be extremely difficult. The key is to trust Him through those times. And people right now in Louisiana and the Northeast are facing some great trials, Christians and, and non-Christians alike. The key for us who are followers is to trust God through the midst of all those trials. So pray for them today, but also remember as you face the difficulties of life, don't be afraid. God is still with you. God is still there, and God's promises endure forever, no matter what. God bless you. Have a great day. Talk to you later.